Welcome to Comfort Havoc number two. My name is James Williams Jr. So, I just deleted the video because I was rudely interrupted. So I'm going to try this one more time. I'm very worried about Korean entertainers, especially K-pop stars, because of what I read in the other video. So now I have to start this all over. I'm totally going to butcher it because I'm totally angry. Henceforth the smile on my face because I want to punch someone in theirs. Okay. So K-pop artist Goo, G-O-O. -O, H-A-R-A, was found dead at her home, age 28 years old, which I said in the other video that this is like the second or the third K-pop star I've read about in less than two years, and there's an interview on Asian Boss about another one that did this, and um, it was suspicious circumstances, but it was ruled as a suicide, and they had another lady who was living somewhere in protection till she went to court, and I don't know how that's working out, so you have to go to Asian Boss on YouTube to check that shit out. Anyway, I'm going to attempt to read this one more time. Alright, the 28-year-old best known for her um, in her membership of K-pop group Kara, K-A-R-A, which she joined in 2008, which I said in the other interview about the time I got interrupted. Uh, you had appeared in many television and released her own music, released music by herself, police say that the cause of death is still under investigation. She appeared in a series of comeback performances last week after being hospitalized in May following an alleged suicide attempt. The singer later apologizes for causing concern and commotion among her fans over the incident. Reports say she managed, she had managed to, um, at the time, to um, find her unconscious. Dew was found dead at 1800 local time it's like nine something or another on a Sunday in her home at, oh dear lord, home. The Gangnam, Gangnam, I'm going to spell it out for you. G-A-N-G-A-M, police department, was quoted by, oh good God. Why? O-N-H-A-P news agency as saying her last post on Instagram shared with her 1.5 million followers on Saturday was a photograph of her in the bed with the caption good night okay I never heard of her so I haven't been following her on Instagram Kara her former band were one of the first k-pop groups in a break through the international stage Who's first solo epi EP released in 2015 peaked at the number four on the Korean music charts. She had signed with the talent management agency in Japan earlier this year and released a song named Midnight Queen earlier this month. I just read about that. I think there was a video made. Over the last year, her career was overshadowed by events in her life off stage. September 2018, Goo filed a legal filed a lawsuit against an ex-boyfriend after he threatened to damage her career by exposing explicit videos. Her former partner was given a suspended jail term in August for physically assaulting and blackmailing the star. Goo's death comes over a month since another K-pop girl band star, uh, S-U-L-L-I, was also found dead. See, I just said that at the beginning of this in a suspicious suicide after struggling with online bullying. The two celebrities were close friends, and after Sully's death, Goo described her relationship as being like sisters. Fans have been taken to social media to express the shock of Goo's death, and many have shared photos in the late, the late friends together. South Korea has one of the highest suicide rates in the world, according to World Health Organization's data. I'm not going to go too deep into this, and that's pretty much the end of the damn story. There is something in a different article, I think, something about the UK. So, let me chime on this, because I just mentioned it. If you heard everything I said a couple of weeks or a couple of months back on Asian Boss, they did some stuff like that too. So, this isn't the, the end of this story. It's the end of it for me, until something else pops up. But, I have been struggling to break into this business and I know that the pressure is on now even more because I'm 46 but the problem is that 
Some people really can't handle fame or the pressure. I don't think that was her issue, but to her ex-boyfriend. You no, know, you dating a celebrity, dude. Why in the hell would you try to blackmail her with sex poses and shit like that? You're a dick. And, you know, to any guy that's doing that, I mean, I've wanted revenge on a few of my exes, but this ain't the way to do it. You know, plus, revenge porn in America is against the law. I don't know how that works over in Korea, but here it's against the law. And I don't have any new pics of my exes at all. And that's fine. And I would never do that to anybody because if I was a woman, first off, I wouldn't be stupid enough to let you talk me into us filming a porn. But if I was stupid enough to talk you into it, it would have to be my idea, my terms, and I keep the tape. Simple as that. You don't get the tape, you can look at the tape because you can come over and we can make more tapes. But I'm not a chick, I'm not hot, and that would be the only way that that shit would happen. As a man, I wouldn't want anybody to do that to me if I was a girl, so I would never do that to a girl. So we have no worries there. Now, if it's her idea and we break up, she can still keep the tape. Because she's somebody and I'm nobody. And nobody's going to want to see what I got going on downstairs. And even if they do, all they have to do is ask. I'm James Williams Jr. This is Comfort Havoc number two. Be seeing you.